In the majority of motorhomes, this kind of window is fitted around the living quarters. It's double glazed and that's good for insulation. But you'll also notice that there's usually a blind and that's good for privacy. None of which is the case in this window, which I fitted and had specially made 15 years ago when I built this motorhome. It's made of single glazed automotive safety glass, just like the windows around the cab. And therein is the weak link in the chain, because it's here in the winter when your heater is on that so much of the heat is lost. And then again in the summer when the sun is out, this is where the solar gain is so great that it can get like an oven inside. But there are some pieces of equipment which help to solve these problems. Let's have a look at some examples. A few seconds ago I mentioned the word insulation. Here we have four topics. Now acoustic insulation is very important in domestic housing and double glazing is often fitted to keep out the sounds from outside, especially if you live near an airport. My focus here though, although it's relevant for motorhomes to a small amount, is thermal insulation, which is much more important and keeping the effects of the sun at bay, solar insulation and this privacy element. I did refer to these one-offs that were for my motorhome and naturally they were only specific for this but I want you to see that you can get special ones made just in case any viewers have a motorhome that's a bit non-standard. They're held on the outside or the inside by suction pads and in some respects that's not the best answer but at least it works and they can be made to the templates that you produce. For most people with motorhomes, this is the package that is required. These silverized screens were invented in the 1980s. I remember the very first ones. And the point is that they are made to fit across the windscreen. You have to make sure that the windscreen wipers are not damaged in the process. They also fit down the sides and they're tucked into the doors, both on the driver's and passenger's side, as a way of attachment. And on account of the fabric itself, it's padded, so that gives thermal insulation, and the silvered element helps to reflect the sun away. Oh, there is something about this one, though. It's the deluxe version. Unlike the normal standard ones, there is a section which you can actually open and that raises the privacy point because you can look out even though people passing by can't see you inside as long as there aren't any lights on. So let's see how this is and I'm going to add one more privacy point which I'll show you inside. Some 13 years ago and before I'd finished this self-build motorhome, a German company found out that it was all going on experimentally here and said, would I test out a new privacy system? Here it is. I had to fit this. The idea is they wanted a report on it afterwards. And the modern versions are very much tidier than this. But you can see the idea. Inside the cab. Look at that. Clever so quick. Now that costs more money than a silver or silver screen system uh, and not everybody would want this but it has improved today and there's others watching this saying not interested in any of this thermal insulation protection I only go away in the summer ah but hang on the people who invent these things there's no limit to their ideas and they've invented something now which fits just like the screen around the front, except it's just an anti-sun material as opposed to a padded silver. So if you're heading off to the south of France and all the heat, and you want to keep the heat out of the van, you might want to fit that instead. 